Hey everybody, welcome back to another Behind the Curtains episode. My name is David and this is a magic review. Today, we're gonna look at Rubik's Dream from Henry Harrius. All right, so what is the Rubik's Dream effect? Well, it's really not an effect, it's really a system, okay? Uh, what Henry has done is he's put together this incredible uh, Rubik's Cube system where you will be able to do multiple effects. And you're really not even getting one effect. Like I said, you're getting this little kind of kit that'll enable you to do several tricks. You know, uh, Henry has a really great FISM routine uh, that he did with Rubik's Cubes. I would highly recommend you Google that or go out to the internet and try to find it. Um, and he's gonna teach you some of that in this. And it's, it's really, really incredible. Okay, so what you're gonna get in the box, okay, uh, just to give you an idea, and they do say this in the commercial, like if you watch the trailer, they're gonna tell you everything you're gonna get. I mean, they're really open and honest about what you're getting. I would highly recommend you watch the trailer. Um, you're gonna get two real full-size Rubik's Cubes, okay, real ones, and they're nice, they're not, they're not junky ones, they're good ones. You're gonna get the cube shell, okay, a full-size Rubik's Cube shell. You're gonna get one mini Rubik's Cube, like the old school ones like that we used to have when we were kids. And then you're gonna get a mini cube shell. You're also gonna get a velvet drawstring bag that would hold the mini cube. You're also gonna get additional stickers for your cubes, okay? So you can make them uh, any pattern or any combination of stickers and colors you'd like. And then you're also gonna get a link to a Vimeo video, the explanation video, and the video itself is about 46 minutes long. Is it what I thought? It is what I thought only because in the trailer, like I said, Henry tells you exactly what you're getting. So he shows you some initial effects and he totally tells you what comes in uh, your package and you're not gonna be surprised. Everything that's, he, that he says you get, you get. There's no extra secrets, there's no extra anything. How are the angles on this? The angles on this are really, really good. Henry will even teach you how to overcome your only one angle. You do have one angle, one dirty side, right? One dirty side to your shell. And he will teach you how to eliminate that one completely. Can it be inspected? Uh, the cubes, of course, can be inspected. Any other props, like if you use a paper bag or use the little velvet bag, of course, those can all be inspected. The shell, I mean, you could hold it in your hands and you would think that you were holding a real Rubik's Cube, but you wouldn't be. Obviously, it can't be inspected, but I think just a close examination of the spectator looking at it, they can look right at it and never see it. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Um, it's all done in one shot. Uh, Henry's seated at a table with a stationary camera. The camera's across from him. He's got like a library of books and some collectible cards behind him. It's got really soft music. It doesn't, it doesn't get in the way. Um, Henry himself, he has a very gentle voice, which is nice. He's very easy to listen to, and you get a couple of close-up shots. All right, so what's taught on the DVD? What is taught? Um, he's obviously going to go over everything you receive in the package. He's going to teach you something called the impossible paper bag solve, where you have a mixed cube going into a paper bag, and then when it comes out, it's solved. Uh, and then he's going to teach you like a sucker version of that. He's going to teach you two different matching tricks where the spectator mixes the cube at random and then you match it uh, with your cube. He's going to teach you uh, a reoccurring nightmare effect where you mix a large uh, cube into a, into a specific pattern. The spectator mixes the small one into a specific pattern and then they match. This trick itself was originally released as Rubik's Nightmare and it was his FISM act. So you're going to learn Rubik's Nightmare and have the props for it to do his FISM act from just purchasing this, so this is awesome. Uh, you're also gonna learn the solve, the instant flash solve that he does at the end of this. That instant flash solve is worth the price. Like, he will teach you how to, with a regular Rubik's Cube, show it messed up, and then solve it in a flash in front of the spectator with almost zero movement. Um, he's going to show you his favorite false shuffle. He's going to show you a couple of different ideas that you can do with the mini cube, how you can make the mini cube uh, become anything you want. And then there's a special um, trick at the very end of this from Vincent Kuo, um, where Vincent is going to show you his rendition of the Rubik's Cube solve, but without a shell. So a straight on uh, mixed up cube, and then he solves it in front of the spectator Again, without any movement or without any motion, the cube just magically solves itself. Another great powerhouse trick also included in this teaching. All right, so is it well made? Uh, everything is well made. You get really well made cubes. The velvet bag is well made. The shell is 
magnifique. Like the shell is ma awesome. Like you could look at it, like I said, straight on and never know you were looking at a shell. You could hold it in your hands. It feels exactly like a real Rubik's cube. And it's virtually the same size as a cube. Side by side, they look completely identical. You take care of this. This will last you for the rest of your career. How much practice does this require? Um, it really, in any of the effects that they teach, there really are no hard slides or difficult movements. A lot of it is just some memory work and it, it'll just take a little bit of practice. A few of the tricks that Henry will teach you, you will be able to do right away with zero practice because they're just that easy. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, none. The shell makes it easy. The shell does all the work for you. Positives. All right, so what are the positives to Rubik's Dream? If you like Rubik's Cube magic, you need this. Heck, you need two of them, okay? I wouldn't pass this up if I were you. This is cube magic at its best. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, yes, you get multiple trick ideas, but the negative is you only get one shell right? You only get one shell. You do get stickers. You can make the shell look like whatever you want. But if you're like me, you're only going to want to put the stickers on the shell one time. You're not going to do peel off, put on, peel off, put on, right? So you're going to want to make your shell look awesome. So what are you going to make your shell look like? Are you going to make it look like a solved cube where you do a messy uh, Rubik's cube and it becomes solved? Or are you going to do a pattern mixed up cube shell? to where the spectator can mess up the cube and then it becomes uh, a pattern that you've already created. So you have to make that decision before you start putting stickers on your shell. Your shell does not come pre-stickered. And second negative, there's no instruction on the video about how to lay the stickers down, okay? All he does is teach you tricks. He never gives you any advice for how to put the stickers on your shell. So you're gonna just have to take some time and go slow and line those little stickers up so that it looks like it was done at the factory, okay? I don't know how you feel about, you know, uh, DIY, but that's just gonna take some time. And like I said, you're gonna have to figure that out. So do you wanna make your shell look like a solve cube or look like a messy cube? You will have to figure that out for yourself. That's the negative. Let me spin it into a positive for you, okay? Let me spin it into a positive. You're gonna need two sets. I know, it's $155. Is it worth your money? It's 155 bucks. It's a lot of money. But like I said, you're getting a system, a system of cube magic. You know what, if you're serious about this and this is really what you wanna do, and you think this could be, this, is, this could be what you do is, is, is Rubik's Cube magic, I would just keep saving my pennies and I would just get two sets. I know, it's gonna be 300 bucks, but listen, if you get two sets, You'll have tons of cubes to use. You'll never need to buy another one. And you'll have two shells for each version. You'll have a large, two large shells, two small shells, and you'll be able to make one shell a mix and one shell a, a solved. And then you'll be able to do every single effect on this video. And I think that's what you really want. You're gonna see these tricks. They're all gonna be awesome. You're gonna wanna do them all. And then you're gonna realize, I need two shells. You, you do. So you're going to have to hit purchase twice. You're going to have to buy two of these. Who would like this? I think anybody who wants to get into Rubik's Cube Magic, anybody who's seen Henry's Fizzum Act and you're thinking, oh, I want to learn how to do that. Like I, you, if you just got one, if you just got one of these, you know, you drop the $155, you got one of these, the very first trick he teaches you with the paper bag, that's worth it right there. You could do that one effect, call it a day, and, and work this one cube trick in with some of their other stuff, absolutely. But I, like I said, I would recommend that you get two. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about Rubik's Dream. Of course, if you have any questions about this effect or anything else that we sell here, please don't hesitate. Send us an email and you can do that at support at magicshop.co.uk and check out our blog for tips and even more great advice at blog.magicshop.co.uk. Thanks, bye.